okay now we'll display this font book data in data table so we'll use this beautify data table especially this crud actions one so we can view source and yeah we can copy this template and we'll create a new component we'll call it font book data table dot view and replace that with the template and script down below okay so here we have uh, dialog or model component that will display the model to edit and here we have data table and inside data table we have slot for edit delete as you can see we have one button to add like so and one to edit so that's why this upper one is for add and this is for edit okay so in the home we'll import that phone book data component and we don't need this style just remove this so we'll import and we need to do our register component like so and we can and we can get it off or we can just comment it out okay there we go we can see our data table okay but uh, data is uh, the stummy data so we'll pull in from our database so we need uh, these methods in our other component actually we just need this fetch contacts into our methods and just put it here okay so here we'll clean things up uh, we need okay so in order to clean things up first uh, let's go to so everything is loading from so headers from header items from deserts uh, currently inside initialize we have all this uh, dummy data so we don't need this dummy data we can get rid of this initialize function uh, instead so the initialize function will be fetch contacts for us because we are lo uh, loading all data so this uh, desert should be so let's uh, replace this deserts with uh, contacts all right so contacts all good and instead uh, when component is created will fetch contacts instead of initialize or we can call it initialize and yeah if in future we want to do multiple thing while uh, component initialize it is good practice to keep the initialize component and instead call this dot fetch contacts there same thing okay so everything else will be same and one more thing we need to change these headers so our header that will be returning from our API is inside if we go to contact controller so we are returning everything from here so contact resource contact collection so if we go to resource contacts so this is API resource we built so we got access to these uh, key name so ID full name mobile and created at so let's put uh, these as, as a header mm, first header will be ID 
and line left so name will be id so value will be id and another thing will be phone number or mobile oh, let's call it mobile so that should match uh, this name actually this will be a let's leave it so another one will be full name let's call it full name full name and then mobile and then get rid of one two three so one row we need to add for action okay so we also need to change it here so first one will be id second will be full name third will be mobile and then we don't need these two mm, everything else will be yeah okay so now we got our data so we need to change these also okay so first create form will be uh, name actually we'll do full mobile yeah full name and mobile are two fields which we want to change and same for our edit mm, teaser name gallery looks like we don't we haven't changed this so full name like so we can edit okay so currently it will not persist so we need to send request to backend to persist these changes so edit item function will be called while editing deleting and yeah so save will so when we hit save uh, it will save like so so uh, we can call some function here so save this part is for edit and this part for uh, create so we can verify that so console log and similarly here we'll say saved no and similarly let's log here delete delete it okay let's open up console clear everything out so when we delete item it should say deleted data so we, we are triggering that web hook so something dummy we hit save created data and similarly when we edit something and save edit it so those are the hooks where we can uh, call our backend to persist data so let's do that so here i will call axia start post send a post request to slash contact uh, we can pass in name and actually this will be the put request since we are updating so name will be this dot edited item dot full name and similarly this dot edited item dot mobile yeah so creating part will also be very similar we just need to send a post request uh, but here we have uh, to post id as well so this dot edited item dot id and same thing for delete uh, here we can send the request but this time delete request okay looks good let's test this so far no error let's give it a hard refresh so let's try editing this one Alex 
so updated LX or we'll call it uh, just two to see if this updated both two and let's hit save mm, yeah looks good yeah so now we will refresh the page and see if this thing persists or not there we go so it persists to database okay similarly let's try deleting okay okay so it says 404 not found looks like we missed something what's that this one and also we don't need this thing because we are just deleting so uh, I think this should be inside uh, index.id okay I think yeah sorry I think it should be inside item.index and to be sure we can log it okay let's try delete uh, once more this time it got success no longer there let's refresh LX should be go gone yeah so last thing let's try creating uh, some a, 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 a so that it should show in first place and something like this save it there we go uh, looks like we are not getting ID what's the problem okay when refresh we are getting but yeah, actually we do uh, we shouldn't show this ID here and also ID shouldn't be editable but while creating we cannot uh, give ID and also cannot update because the ID is determined from database so in order to avoid that you can show here serial ID not this ID from our database because that client shouldn't know the ID so we can remove it from here okay we'll see how we'll do that in future for now just remove it okay so this is the basic CRUD operation for uh, contacts with data table in our front end okay similarly uh, we can add something like this source function in our data table so in order to do that we'll just actually let's just put uh, this text field mm, here and also we need to define the source property oh sorry we are putting this inside here so this is data table and this is text field and also we need to pass this source props to our data table in order for that to work and let's expand that and let's pass in that source there we go so now it should work a only go get a b e r like so also we can add pagination here so beautify data table con uh, component contains this so first of all we need to add a pagination property this property props to our data, uh, data table component let's add that so phone book data table will add it here and we need to define this in our component data property like so so as you can see it uh, reduced uh, five number but we we cannot see link down here so to display the pagination link we got this thing this link so it contains pagination dot page and length so uh, what we can do here is we need to define this page property which we can define as a computed property this is so we got that code snippet here okay so basically what it does it uh, so this pagination property is already there so it checks if rows per page is null or total item is null if that is so it returns zero otherwise it divides total item by rows per page so this is 5 by default we'll see in a moment so all that is defined by beautify like so okay so if we see uh, this component phone book data table we see this pagination already got these data so 
it is defined by beautify uh, rows per page is 5 uh, we can alter that like by overwriting this object so let's define rows per page equals to 10 save it switch back now we should see 10 item per page like so okay so this is how we display uh, our data inside data table with all crud operation search feature and with pagination